WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, a.k.a. Larry Pesavento, wishing everyone a wonderful holiday, whether it's Thanksgiving, Easter. Well, it can't be Easter. No, it's got to be uh, uh, Christmas and then the New Year's, whatever. Have a wonderful time. Remember, uh, the day after Thanksgiving has a 76% chance of closing higher that day, and that is a very strong statistic. And if it doesn't close higher that day, that means the early part of December is going to be weak. And the odds on that are also pretty high. But we'll do one thing at a time. Okay, folks, let's take a look at a few things here this morning. You can see the S&P is charged above the highs again. We got as high as 4580. I'm going to bring this up on a little shorter time frame so that you can see how high we got. We got all the way up to 4580 after the report. And then you can see the market sold off. Guess where it stopped, folks? You can't make this up. Put your low to your high. You think these you think these algorithmic traders don't have something going? Misses the S and P by one point, folks. One point from fifty four to fifty five. I mean, my goodness. And then what it does? Look at this. This is what they call a Gartley, folks. There's your A leg. There's your A B C D. That's a Gartley pattern, and you draw it in, you're going to be able to see that it is absolutely spot on. There's your A, B, C, D. Now, the question a uh, young man asked me this morning was, what time frame should I trade? If you want to have some fun and trade, go to an eight-minute, folks. Eight-minute gives you a lot of things to look at. You don't get this kind of volatility all the time, but you get nice little patterns here that are tradable. Here, you can trade this. This is 60. That's only four points. In order to make any money in the S&P, you got to have a swing of at least 10 points. So those are the ones you want to swing to, $500. Okay? So I was originally going to today uh, – oh, wait. We've got a break coming up already. I'm <laughs> – folks, I have to tell you something. My family loves to trade over the holidays, so I send them out wherever they want to go. And they went to two of the major airports in the United States of America this yesterday – those re those airports were empty. One of them was in Los Angeles. They had never seen Los Angeles airport that empty on the day before a holiday. The other one was in Dallas, Texas. They're meeting someplace in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope. Anyway, let's take a quick look here at the uh, time on the wall, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. 